Hi everyone, my name is Katrina Chadwick and I wanted to pop on today to do the 20 questions tag that seems to be going around at the minute with everyone in the yarn, craft, knitting, crochet community at the moment. So I saw that Debbie of the Canadian Crotchet Up, she had put out her video a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago, had a push. And I watched it and it was absolutely fantastic. And then I saw a couple of people. So I've got my sheet here. And I also watched Smell Great Guy, Ross, his video. I saw Terry at Yarn Joy podcast. I saw Laurel of The Dabbling Hook. And I saw Ella of Don't Catch Your Name. And then I also saw Rebecca of Mama Hodge Crochet and Crafts. So there was quite a few. So I've been binge watching videos this week. And Debbie and I'm pretty sure Ella tagged pretty much everyone and said, if you haven't been tagged, I'm tagging you. So here I am. So first question is, what does your name mean? Now my name is Katrina. And I had to look it up because it's not of any significance within my family. Uh, it's not that I was named after a family member or a family member a few generations back or like a grandparent. It was literally um, just that my parents loved the name. And so Katrina is of German origin and it means pure. So I also saw that the Greek translation or origin of the name is pure of heart um, to go in more into depth with that one so it says where are you from I am from Australia I'm from New South Wales and I am from south of Sydney so I am from originally the MacArthur area and wait a minute sorry and I moved further south and so now I'm in the southern Tablelands area. I'm not going to narrow that any further than that I think. <laughs> uh, where were you born? I was born in the MacArthur area of New South Wales. And you can figure that out yourself. <laughs> um, what would your parents have named you if you had been a boy? I'm looking at my sheet just so you know when I look off screen there. Um, I think my parents would have named me Max. That was the boy's name that they always liked and I have a younger brother and I know it was between Max and Wade and they ended up naming my brother Wade but I'm pretty sure it was Katrina or Max for boys and girls names. Uh, what is your biggest accomplishment? Now so many people said they're kids and whilst that is true for myself I think my biggest accomplishment outside of family is that I was the first person in my family on both sides to attend university. So uh, my grandparents, my cousins um, that are older than me, that is, and uh, my aunties and uncles, none of them have attended uh, university or college. None of them got a tertiary education. So that was huge. I went through high school. I did not um, have any time off and I went to the University of Western Sydney and graduated with a Bachelor of Social Science uh, which is to do with sociology and criminology for mine anyway um, yes so I have that for me is my biggest accomplishment is to change my family tree and then now that I've had children I've got two little boys that are absolutely beautiful um, they can do whatever they like they can see that um, their future's not determined. They can determine their own futures and they can do whatever they want, whatever they want, would like to do. And hopefully that's something that's amazing because I think they're amazing. And number six is what is your eye color? I have blue eyes. You can really see it with my makeup today. Do you like my makeup? Thank you. <laughs> and what is your favorite candle scent? Like anything sweet. I'm very much um, a sweet rather than a savoury person, so candles is the same. I like sweet scents. At the minute, I'm burning citrus stuff. 
Um, I find my nose has changed um, through pregnancies. So when I was pregnant with my first son, five years ago now, I could not, my sense of smell heightened so much and I could not smell a whole lot of stuff and I could not wear perfume because people's perfumes and colognes were too intense. It would actually make me very sick and I'd have to, at work, I'd have to go outside and be sick. It was really quite horrible. Um, but since, like, after I had my son and then all your hormones changed again, I noticed that my sense of smell, like what I liked, changed. Um, and then it's happened again with my second son and then with my third son. So, at the minute, citrus scents are, are favourites and anything sweet. But at the minute, I'm just, um, I have a candle burning and it's just generic citrus. So it would be lemon, orange, lime, that sort of mixture combination. Very clean in that sense too. Uh, can you cook is number eight. I believe I can cook. I kind of find it a little bit monotonous. So if I, cause I cook the same stuff generally day to day, I just get lost in meals, especially dinners. But when I'm trying a new meal, it really excites me. So I think I can cook. My husband's never complained. So that's always a good thing. But I think my husband's the better baker. And I would, I do more like meals and dinners and like cooking. Yeah, dishes, if that makes sense. Uh, nine, what is good about your life right now? Um, everyone was lovely in all their comments but um we recently my third son i was pregnant and we recently had a stillbirth so um we're kind of in grief um we're going through our grieving process which is all natural it's as if you've lost a parent or a sibling um any person that you've lost in your life that means a lot to you you would go through the similar process so for us it's daily small things so I'm extremely happy to have my kids extremely happy to have my kids and I'm grateful for that um so I think having each other is what's good about my life right now I have my kids I have two boys that are alive with me and I have a husband who loves me and I love him so so much he's the world and I think that's that's my good thing in life that I'm holding on to at the minute. Uh, what is your sign? And I'm assuming that's star sign. So I'm a May baby. And so my star sign is Gemini. Uh, 11, what scares you about aging? Interesting. I'm actually afraid of the loneliness of being alone I believe no one should be alone when they age and get old I, I it's really confronting and upsetting because I work in retail predominantly um whilst I've had children and so I see a lot of the public and I deal with a lot with people and it's horrible to see a little old lady or a little man come in and then you just start generally chatting with them and you find out that they've got no one they're 60, 70, 80, and they're just doing it all by themselves and they don't have a, a network or a community and I find that scary because I think we shouldn't have anyone. Um, so that scares me about aging, but I don't think, I don't know what's going on in those scenarios either. So I'm assuming that they, the people has passed away and moved on. Um, so I'm making every effort to surround me with very good family and friends and I do things for them and they do things for me and we look after one another so yeah that's really the only thing age is nothing to me but I mean I'm younger-ish so possibly that may change as I age um 12 what is your favorite holiday uh, Christmas. I love Christmas. I love it. I love it. I love it. Always loved it since I was a child. Um, and then obviously I became too old to have that um, childish innocence about Christmas. 
with my own family and my parents but I still love it and I've always had that excitement for it regardless so even before my children I was always excited about it um, and it's just carried on and I love it so I currently have my Christmas tree up in my house but I'm in my bedroom hence the different setting today because my kids are at home and but my hubby's with them so everything's sort of perfect for me to be able to quickly duck in and get a video done um, what is your guilty pleasure? That would be sugar, anything sweet, cakes, chocolate. I love food. What can I say? I love food made well. It doesn't have to be food I've made. Food other people make. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, what is your favourite show to binge watch? I love anything cop show. So I'm talking Law and Order. CSI, The Rookie I'm watching at the moment, it's a new one, that's hilarious. Um, what else? At uh, NCIS, LA is my favourite, I love Deeks and Kenzie. Um, but any like cop shows, British and US, um, I do love lots of UK drama as well, but the binge ones is the ones that I always go back to, is cop shows. I just play them in the background, I always have... Um, I'm a 90s child growing up, if that makes any sense, without the whole Law and Order reference. But I studied at uni and that would be like, I'd have things playing in the background whilst I was like studying. Uh, yeah, so it's just carried on in my life. I love it. Um, what else have we got? 15. What is the one thing you can't leave the house without? Phone, unfortunately. It's just one of those things, it's become a bit of a necessity. I've got kids, I worry that if something happens, I've got to call an ambulance, but I have a phone on me. Um, I know everyone did it before us without them, but the world has changed. I need it now. Um, are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm a night owl, definitely. Hate mornings. Do not like them. Do not come near me in the morning. Do not wake me up before six. Mind you, my kids do all the time, but I'm a grumpy bear. <laughs> uh, what is your favourite genre of movie? Mm, movies are different to TV shows. So in movies, I like chick flicks, rom com, light hearted stuff. I do watch nearly every genre, uh, but that's the stuff I'll go for for comfort. What is the last thing you brought, bought? 18. Mm. Yarn? I was out yesterday shopping. Yarn and succulents. I love succulents. So, oh, and books. There you go. I bought a book yesterday. I bought succulents and I bought a ball of yarn. So um, that was my shopping trip yesterday. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I had to ask my husband because I don't know, but he said extrovert, definitely. He said, he explained it really well. He said that I need to be around people to recharge. And extroverts need to be around a group of people to recharge. Whereas introverts are more needing to be away from crowds and just sit by themselves and recharge doing whatever they want to do or whatever they feel comfortable doing. So I'm an extrovert. And what is your favourite book? 20. It's really hard because I'm a big, big reader. Um, I'm on Goodreads, which is an app, and I um, have sort of like started logging in the last couple of years what I've been reading um, and the like ratings, whether you've read it a high or low, and you can do reviews. I haven't been doing lots of reviews, but I have a stack of books on my bedside table. Constantly I picked... The start of the year I picked 17 books and just had them all it's like a massive pile next to my bed I've been going down and down and down and down, down I was trying to pick a bit of stuff that I've not been drawn to but I loved the idea of reading them so lots of non-fiction I read a lot of fiction but not a lot of non-fiction but uh, picked out a few of those and the older stuff that's been on my shelves um, I have a bookshelf wall in my lounge room and it's just covered in books so some of my favorite stuff would be Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte yes Charlotte had to remember which Bronte sister that was in um Persuasion and 
Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Uh, if we're talking paranormal romance, urban fantasy, it would be Patricia Biggs. She's got the Mercedes Thompson series. Love all those. Um, what else? J.R. Ward in that same genre. There's the da um, Black Dagger Brotherhood. Love it. 23, 24 books in the series. Got all of them. Read all of them. Uh, Cheryl and Kenyon's the same in that series. Love all them. Christine Warren. They're all sort of adult style, but I've been getting a lot into contemporaries recently. So I really liked Vanilla is the book, but I don't have the author's name. Sorry. And... What was the other one I really liked this year? There was another one. Um, the Flowers of Alice Hart, I think, was the, another one that I really loved reading this year. Um, that's one of my favourites. But The Power of One by Bryce Courtney meant a huge amount to me um, as a teenager growing up. influenced me a lot. And To Kill a Mockingbird. Loved it. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I could just go on and on and on about books. I really need to do like a book channel as well as crochet. But anyway, um, yes. So love books, another massive hobby of mine. So that is the 20 questions. And I've just hit over 16 minutes. So thank you for watching, guys. And that is me. That is Katrina. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.